Hey guys, and welcome to Dr. Webb's channel. My name is Helene, and I am a current medical student at Morehouse School of Medicine in Atlanta, Georgia. I've teamed up with Dr. Webb, so I'm gonna show you what it's like being a third year medical student on their psychiatry rotation at my school. So if you are interested, go ahead and keep watching this video. <laughs> and yes, I um, am wearing this Baylor shirt because that is where I graduated. Sick and bears for any of you Baylor bears that are watching. Also, Stay tuned for a surprise giveaway at the end of this video. All right, so today is Monday um, and I'm currently at Georgia Regional, which is a psychiatric hospital. And so I'm going to take you on a week in the life of how it is to be on rotations as a third year medical student. Um, all right, so, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is the team room that we meet in every morning at 8 a.m. to round on all the patients that are in the hospital. Hey guys, so today was actually a hectic day. I was not able to record because there was so much going on, but um, tomorrow I will probably be able to do a much better job. Um, but when I get home, I will definitely update y'all on what happened on this um, very interesting Monday. All right, hey guys, so I am back home. So what happened today, um, every day usually starts off with everyone meeting. So this is the psychiatrist, the medical student, the pharmacy student, the pharmacist, psychologist, the social workers, everybody who is involved in patient care comes to the team room and they talk about each of the patients and what happened the previous day. After that, we go on round on the patients. Right. So the reason I said today was kind of hectic was because uh, one of the patients came very, very mad, you know, stood up and, you know, basically was pleading so much that she wanted to go home. She wanted to get out of here. She didn't want to be in the hospital anymore. When the psychiatrist was like, well, we have to see that you can do, you know, X, Y, and Z before you are discharged home. And the patient was just not having it. Uh, so we had to get like security and, and then after that, that, the attending will let us um, go see patients on our own. And we get a break for lunch. So at 1.30, we meet back with the attending. We report back the updates. So we ask any questions that we may have. Can get home around 2.30 every day. And so I have all the time to study the rest of the day, which I don't. I'll study for a couple hours every, look, okay. I'm, I, I will try to study every day. It just depends on what I feel like doing. I have weekly quizzes. And then I also have a presentation on Friday about any topic in psychiatry that I want. And um, other than that, yeah. So actually right now I'm about to um, actually watch Power because you know, Power Sundays. And really um, after I watch this, I'll probably study for a little bit and uh, you know, that'll be my typical day. Don't get too caught up in the fact that this is how third year works. It's not, um, every site is different. I just happen to be at a site that lets us out at these times. So, um, so it's not gonna be this way when I'm on my surgery rotation, OB rotation, um, even internal medicine, you work the weekends. So this is the only rotation that you have like the most free time. So for now, I am sitting on my couch. Primarily for this rotation, I have the first aid for the psychiatry clerkship. Um, I mostly use this for the quizzes that we have. So then I like practice answering the questions and then I cover up the answer choices so that like I don't see them. I also use online med ed, which is an amazing resource that has videos and all types of other uh, resources and the cool thing is is that the videos are free so um, a lot of people use this for their third year rotations also have a presentation on Friday talking about schizophrenia and avatar therapy and I actually found this background um, online look at the brain so I was getting a little bored inside so I had to take it to the balcony got my notes here we're listening to dr. Williams Got my little uh, insect repellent candle, and we're about to get our study on. The one day I decide that oh, I'm gonna leave my house a little late today, not purposely, but now they move in all these prisoners. Educational workshop. Where you it is 7:43, like two minutes away from my site, but had to pick up a quick sandwich because your girl did not eat breakfast. Not the healthiest, but desperate times calls for desperate measures. I'm gonna get out of the habit um, of eating on the go, but today's just not the day. Good morning, guys. 
So let me introduce you all to my partner. Hi. This is Tasha and we are both at the same site. So right now we are going to go visit some patients. These patients have schizoaffective disorder, um, schizophrenia, bipolar. Right. So Tasha, tell them about your experience so far being on this rotation. Um, well, what are your thoughts? Right now we're at a hospital with the worst of the worst types of diagnoses and prognosis. So these people really are, they're sick. And a lot of them aren't gonna be able to ever live alone again. Right. It's sad. Right. Do you think that you would go into psychiatry? Uh, no. <laughs> no. I get too stressed out by these patients. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you know, I, I think it's a no for me too. I, I was kind of dabbling in it. Um, I'm, I'm no longer dabbling. <laughs> it is very interesting and of course you'll see these kind of patients kind of in whatever practice you end up doing. Um, but as my number one like career, it's a no for me and it's a no for her. Psychiatry. Whew. It's for special people. It is definitely for special people. You have to have a, you have to be very patient um, to do this. You can't be afraid of your patient. Um, I think that's my problem. <laughs> no, 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 no. Some patients have been um, violent, loud, aggressive. <laughs> um, and so we've had to remove ourselves from certain situations. And I don't want to have to work like that every day. Yeah. So. <laughs> but I mean, it's been a good experience. Like, we've learned a lot mm -hmm. just being in and this the rotation. The patients are interesting. Very. There's always a story. There is definitely always a story. gym that the patients can come and take part in now we are on to basketball all right three-pointer Ooh. all right Ooh. on to volleyball so now while we wait until 1.30 to meet back with our attending, we study in the meantime. Yay, always find time to study, guys. All right, people, right now it is 1.56 and we are done for the day. We're gonna go get a Cinnabon because they're having $1 cinnamon um, rolls. Hello. I am back home. Lovely day outside, guys. Lovely, lovely day. If you can see that. Yikes. But anywho, so um, now uh, I'm gonna study. Basically, yeah, and just get my life together. Eat my Cinnabon, of course. Right there. Yeah. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Really? Hey, Helen? Really? But anywho. Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday. It is 7.20 a.m. and I'm on my way to the hospital. Shout out to my friend for making these muffins. So it is 7.40. We leave here actually at 11.30. <laughs> so we don't stay here very long on Wednesdays and then we go to a different site. Didactics involves basically a lecture. It's only for students that are on the psychiatry rotation. It's in a different city technically than where we are um so that's why they give us so much time to get to the locations there we would have a lecture and directly after that lecture we have a quiz uh every day that you come to your rotation you should come business casual and you always have your white coat um put pens my id um the keys in order to get around this hospital because all the doors are locked um, and then like little um, 
resources in here, little books and um, things like that. A white coat clipboard um, and my stethoscope. All right, guys, it is actually like 1030. Um, we got released a little early, actually a lot early. So um, I have until one o'clock to get to my next site, which this is plenty of time. So honestly, I have no idea what to do with myself right now. I do encourage you to stretch. I don't like that people sit for example, okay? Code red, case All right, good morning, guys. Today is Friday. Today is actually my last day um, being at this location. So sorry I didn't vlog yesterday. Uh, yeah, it was a hot mess. Thursdays we spend the full day at our site, so doing the normal seeing patients and things like that. And then we go to school around 4.30 to 6 for a lecture in our Fundamentals of Medicine class, and that's every single Thursday. So today is our last day here. We have a presentation. Um, we just appreciate the opportunity to have been able to learn so much here. During the duration of these three weeks, we've been able to interview a lot of patients um, and get to better know them um, and about their diagnoses. And so one diagnosis that came up very frequently with schizophrenia. So I chose to do my presentation on schizophrenia. That's really good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Tasha, so how do you feel about our last day here? It's been good. Patients are nice. The attendings are great. They're always giving us feedback. Yep. So it'll be sad to go. Very sad to go. This place has been pretty awesome. And we got donuts today for our last day. That was nice. But again, with that whole, you know, being careful um, where you are, one patient actually just threw a chair. So we were like, okay, um, time to go. <laughs> we'll be back later. So psych is really interesting. Don't know if it's for me, but only time will tell. All right, guys. So Tasha is inside of the unit right now, and um, one of the patients was, you know, throwing stuff, and I just was like, you know, I'm not going up in there. But she braved it out. She's interviewing a patient, so kudos to Tasha. I've been saying our goodbyes to everyone. I'm actually sad to go. I am. Yeah, but it's definitely been a really great experience here. Super thankful for being able to come rotate through Georgia Regional. I've learned so much. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So this giveaway is mainly for uh, first and second year medical students. We're giving away a first aid book. If you are a medical student, you know that this book is literally needed in order to study for step one. Right, so in order to win this book, all you have to do is one, subscribe to my YouTube channel, two, subscribe to Dr. Webb's channel, and three, you need to comment below and let us know that you want this book. Um, once this video is posted, a week or two after that, uh, we will choose a winner and then send this wonderful book your way. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching guys and thank you Dr. Webb for the opportunity to showcase my life. Definitely if you have any questions or if you want to ask me any questions about um, being a medical student, feel free to email me. My email is also below heydrhelene at gmail.com and I will definitely get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching guys.